What's going on, y'all? It's Raheem Moser. Man, it's just, oh, I'm glad we got the win. It's important for us. Hey, on to the next. So we got to flush this out, and it's on to what next. Fins up, baby. Let's go. I said we don't have the capacity. <laughs> And so I'm offering this simple praise to kids yeah. from 1 to 92. Although it's been said many times, many ways to all you cowboy fans, didn't I tell you? <laughs> oh my goodness. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Y'all have arrived just in time. Right when I'm about to open my Christmas presents. You never let me down. <laughs> Merry Christmas, y'all. You hear? So I'm sitting here where I just watched my Cowboys predictably lose at the Dolphins, 22 to 20. My soul is crushed once again because my team took the opening kickoff for once without deferring and drove it all the way down to first and goal at the one. Twice during that opening drive, McCarthy had called plays for Hunter Lipke, the, the fullback, undrafted free agent rookie out of North Dakota State, and it had worked, and so he calls it again, and predictably there's a fumble exchange on the handoff, and we lose the football, and we get no points after going 75 yards and 13 plays. And then on the second drive, boom, boom, we go CD, CD, and he just takes the game over. He has almost 100 yards receiving at halftime, and in the second half, we managed to get him 18 total yards. It's just wrong. It's, it's, this is a football team that has lost its confidence, lost its spark, lost its spirit, lost its way at the very worst time. I don't even think we can beat Detroit at home next week. So now it comes down to can we beat Baker Mayfield at Baker Mayfield? And I'm starting, unfortunately, to have my doubts about this. This is wrong place, wrong time. Waiting till next year. Continue your journey without me. What, 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 what are you, what? You know, it's super tough. I just feel like we're good enough to get a stop, you know? So. Third and two, obviously they're going to try to attack what they think is a weakness. What's your thoughts on that third and two just before the kneel downs? Um, I mean, honestly, is, are you saying our weakness is the run? Well, that's what they assume based on what happened last week at Buffalo. So. I mean, I wouldn't say they attacked the weakness. I mean, I feel like majority of the game we shut down the run, had a lot of TFLs, had a lot of success. So I wouldn't say the weakness, but... If you're talking about situational football and game football and IQ, why wouldn't you run it on third and two and you're in already in field goal position? So, I mean, I wouldn't say that's the weakness at all. I think we stopped the run pretty well um, and did what we were supposed to do. How do you think we did against two overall? I thought we did good. I don't think we really gave up anything big. We They scored one time, a lot of field goals. I mean, they coming into the game, I think everybody knows they were going to get some big plays, some big opportunities with the weapons they have. 
and I thought we did a great job containing them. You mentioned the good things you guys did in the five field goals that you hold the number one offense in the league to. Just can you quantify the frustration of not coming out with the win after that kind of performance? Same thing with the Eagles. Same thing now. It's a game of inches. Games are decided by one or two plays. Um, that's the league, man. It's hard to win. Um, they won the turnover battle. Um, so, you know, I, I think uh, as a defense, we take accountability because we pride ourselves in getting the ball back, and uh, we didn't do a good enough job at that. Can you pinpoint the road issues? I mean, you have one on the road, but of late, there's been some struggles with Buffalo today. I mean, we fight, we fight with our back against the wall. I, a lot of penalties. I mean, it, it's mind-blowing, the things that's getting called and the positions we get put in. I mean, the thing is, um, we just got to learn how to fight the adversity. I know a lot of this BS and we're like, this is football plays and these is, but it's the world we live in. We got to start in the helmet. You hit two on the back. What did the ref say to you on that call? He said, I mean, anybody who's watching, I mean, I won so quick. Like, I, how am I supposed to know he got the ball out? I mean, it's within a second. I didn't leave my feet. I didn't leave with my head. So I don't know what a rough and the passer is anymore. He said, I could have done something in some manner to avoid him. But in reality, I ran into D-Law. Like, we both met the quarterback. I mean, like I said, it's just hard to play defense. Knew, was at, knew what was at stake, you know, especially. Um, and plus, it was a big moment for us. You know, um, you can look back at the course of the games we done had, you know, Tennessee being the last game we could have won, you know, um, and we didn't deliver, you know. So this game right here was kind of like, you know, like the mentality game for us. Like, and everyone on the offensive side, like during meetings, we said, look, Whenever we get a chance to score or win the game or, you know, end the game with the ball, we're going to do that, you know. And um, that, that, that's something that's been communicated throughout, you know, meetings and stuff like that, you know, because, you know, um, we just can't be called the best offense. We can't be called explosive. We got to be able to, you know, um, have good drives. And, you know, the way Tua orchestrated that last drive, it was a thing of beauty. The third and two. Down there, kind of what, what went through that call? And, and was oh, well, that, on which one? The, the third, the, the play to you on the last drive that you in, in the flat that you ended up uh, picking up. Uh, okay. First down. Yeah. What, just to take us through that a little bit, kind of what, what was what was the call? What was the read? That was just one of them plays, man. Coach was like, "Look, I'm coming to you, no matter what." All right. Uh, and the rest of the guys were like, "All right, we we gonna block for you. Um, just make sure you get three yards right here." And um. Yeah, it was a thing of beauty. Like, those guys made my job real easy. Um, and, you know, Zeke, uh, I did like a counter, came back out, caught a quick screen, you know, um, and that was a wide open scene, you know. So um, I got to give credit to the guys up front. Also, the receivers blocking downfield. It was a thing of beauty, man, because right after the play, you know, um, one of the DBs came up to me and said, y'all really ran a screen, bro? Like, I was like, yeah, like, anything's possible, man, with this offense. So we, we, we kind of caught them off guard. You know what, man? Um, I had to go through a lot of therapy with Cal. Um, I don't like spending time with Cal, although he's like my favorite, you know, guy in the building um, outside of football. So j just that right there, man. Just mentally preparing, and then, yeah, man, take taking a lot of vitamin T's. Uh, life will give you the same lessons until you pass the test. Um, next week, you guys have a matchup with with uh, Baltimore Lots at State. Right. Um, but opportunity again uh, are you guys thinking about taking it not taking that for granted and just approaching the week with uh, focus you know each and every game is an opportunity man for us to like you know prove that you know we are one of the best teams in the AFC you know so I, I believe going against the Ravens will be a good test I'm looking forward to it they got a real good defense um, well real good team at that um, so it's gonna be fun man like we, we can't take no matchup lightly you know um, they, they got some real good players over there um, good schemes Great head coach, you know, so it's definitely a challenge for us on both sides of the ball, all three phases, because they really emphasize special, special teams over there. So all three phases. So it's going to be a real good game, I think, down in Baltimore. I don't, I don't even know if – is it a night game? All right, so, yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be it's gonna be dope, man. Hopefully it don't rain. Yeah, he had a phenomenal game. I told him um, maybe we'll bring the ping pong table back. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> yeah, I like that. <laughs> Rick, you guys clinched a playoff spot. It doesn't happen too often here, but 
it seems like you guys have the bigger goals. Is, like, why is the mindset like it is? It seems like today should be a big day for celebration. Yeah, yeah, um, I feel the same way. But, um, you know, obviously, you know, nobody's going to remember um, Miami Dolphins glitching the playoff, you know, when it's time, you know, when uh, February comes around, you know. Um, so that, it's always about, you know, winning the big game. And that's, that's where our mind is at right now. And we know that we got the team to do it. You know, a lot of people have been saying that we can't beat, beat good teams. And I feel like today we kind of showed that. Um, so we can scratch that off the box. Now we're just looking for what um, Stephen A. and Shannon Sharp and I wonder what Skip Bayless going to say on uh, first take. So. Interesting. Tyreek, you, you guys put up a lot of yards and 22 points, but I think two, half of your offense was missing. Your offensive line was Armstead and a bunch of backups today. Like, so right. The, 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 the resilience of this offense, and they were able, you're still able to put points on the board with, with guys that weren't supposed to be starters going into the season. Right, man. Our offensive line coach, he's like one of the coolest guys on the on our team, man. Like he does a great job of, of just coaching those guys. Like in um, – I sometimes just doing practice. I, I go over there and watch him coach, man, because he's one of my favorite coaches. Like the way he coaches those guys, and, and the way he like, you know, um, challenging, ch challenge, challenge. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Sorry, I, I'm still on vitamin T. Challenges those guys over there. So, you know, um, you know, football is a is, is all about next man up. So, I mean, whenever guys get their opportunity, you know, it's all about you know playing for one another, and they do a good job of protecting Tua. How much uh, enjoyable will Christmas be tomorrow knowing that you guys got to win? It's going to be fun, man. My grandma's in town. I haven't seen my grandmother in a year, man. So um, I'm very excited about that. Um, and yeah, I, I'm, I'm just happy, man. I've, I've been in the holiday spirit, you know, all week that my grandma's in town. She kind of surprised me. So. Any pies, uh, sweet potato? Sweet potato pie. You know, grandma, she, she brought it all the way from South Georgia, man. So I'm really looking forward to that right now. Terry, Question? Would, Talk about uh, two is demeanor and the huddle in that last one and a drive like that's important as the last one and, and kind of how that's changed from the first you know the first time you been in a position with him like that. Oh yeah, Tua was turned up uh, towards the end of the game. Um, toward towards the end of the game, like he was getting guys going, he was getting guys rolling, and um, I, I, I love to see it. I love to see that kind of intensity, especially out of Tua. Um, you know, digging into guys, um, a holes and. You know, getting guys lined up and stuff like that, M making sure that um, we're operating properly, getting in, getting in and out of the huddle. You know, so it was a, it was a nice thing to see. I almost had some words with him because I almost like my bad, bro. I'm jogging out the huddle, so it's a thing. It's a it's it's, it's a thing of beauty, man. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Jason Sanders will be next. Jason. <laughs> <laughs> You you just know the frustrating, um, frustrating the the, the the dead spot I guess you can say right there in the, in the middle of the game for the offense. I mean, all right after the first two drives, uh, don't get anything going again, and then come back second half, once again a little dry there, and then finally get it back rolling, get some points on the board, uh, a couple of field goals and a touchdown, take the lead, and um, yeah, tough. But but our defense did a hell of a job. Uh, this is this is completely on everybody. One that sucks, but. Um, Definitely took a step, I guess you can say, from obviously last week's game, getting some points, um, playing a hell of a team uh, here on the road, uh, and we'll, we'll have to build off it. We'll have to use the good, make make sure we uh, get get better from from the things that that weren't up to standard, um, but use the good and plan to plan to go on the road. Still feel with these, that narrative of guys not being able to win on the road. I mean, I guess it feeds it right. We didn't we didn't come out with the win, but. Um, I can tell you the confidence is, is is high from that group. Obviously, this this one sucks. It hurts, especially as you just said in the manner um, th that we did, that we lost this one. Um, but but the confidence is high in these guys. We uh, we understand that, that we can. Obviously, we haven't done it, um, but but we will. And and obviously, the the road forward looks like we'll be going on the road. So, got one more in this in this regular season to to dial it in and 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 improve from this one. Um, and get a win, and then carry that into the to the, the next part of the season. Dak Tower for the season. Where where does that confidence come from that you still have to believe, even if you guys haven't been able to win? I mean, hell, we're we're this whole narrative changes off of unfortunately one play out there. I mean, the guy misses a field goal. We're in here talking about a completely different 
outlook. So let's not lose sight of that. I mean, that, that's the game of football. And a lot of times, you know, we, we, we flip flip the, the script off, off of one play in that sense. And these guys, we're not going to do that. Um, it sucks. We hate to lose. Nobody's taking any more victories from this. Um, we will take some confidence, but uh, we're not taking any more moral victories. But my point is, if he misses that field goal or one earlier, we score earlier. You know what I mean? Like, and it's a, it's a different game. So um, we're going to be committed. I think, think to answer your question is this brotherhood, what we're committed to, we're committed to one another, holding each other accountable in our, in our goal. And um, yeah, we just, we just got to capitalize early, obviously on that first, that first drive. And then um, defense will probably say that they need, they need to get that stop, but they did a hell of a job. We got to find a way to put in more points as an offense and, and we will. You mentioned that first drive, just, you know, you guys won the toss, receive, go all the way down. How demoralizing is it when you can't come up with even three points in the middle of a seven? It sucks, but demoralizing isn't quite the word. Uh, you got to move on fast, especially that being the first first drive of the game. Um, understand it's a long game ahead. Um, if that And if that did demoralize us, we wouldn't have came back and responded like the way that we did in that second drive. So being able to do that uh, was huge. Being able to come back next drive, go down there and put seven in the end zone um, was a big part in the way for us to put that last drive past us. But yeah, the, when you look back at it, right at this point, yeah, I'd love to get any any kind of points there. I mean, changes the way that last drive is played, and so um, yeah, sucks. Um, how much was Tyron Smith missed today? I've got to watch film. I mean, those guys fought their asses off. Um, obviously, I had to, to extend some plays, move move around in the pocket a little bit. But those are some great ends that they were playing. I mean, especially uh, Chubb over there. So I mean. Got to go back and look at the film, but Tyron, Hall of Famer. He's he's going to be tough to replace, and when he's in there, um, it's always it's always different with Tyron. Uh, John, Charlotte, the Athletic. You already touched a little bit on the defense, but I just wanted to know what what your thoughts were coming into the game uh, about how the defense would, would respond to the way that they played in Buffalo, and then just what you thought of them uh, in general. It seemed like they were able to keep you guys in the game throughout the whole last series. Yeah, they kept us in the game. I mean, simple as that. Uh, as I said, right, the dry spots early are. After the first two drives, to not get anything going again till the end of the the third quarter, um, yeah, they, they gave us the opportunity even to take the lead late uh, with with slowing power, an explosive offense down, playmakers. Um, I, I mean, they got some field goals, but you, those, you turn those field goal possessions or allow them to have touchdowns on the field goal possessions, and we don't even have a chance to come back right there. So, I mean, uh, they definitely gave us an opportunity. Um, they've got the right leaders on that side of the ball. I mean, you see the way that DeMarcus plays. Um, that's who he is on and off the field. Uh, guys got to continue to follow him, just doing things right. Uh, hell of a player. Saw it, saw it all over the field tonight. And, um, yeah, they've got a hell of a leader in DQ. So, so no worries about that group. They responded well, and they gave us an opportunity. Yeah, um, strange, I guess, is a good word, but when, when you have three or four catches and, and 70 yards on them from the jump, um, you're playing a defensive coordinator over there that's been around for a long time, uh, and, and he's going to find ways to, to slow you down and uh, maybe fog my, fog my reads up a little bit when it comes to your side. So uh, that, that's all that really happened. I mean, credit them over there. I mean, they weren't going to let the guy just continue to have a – a career day, which was which was uh, potential, obviously with the way that we started, um, yeah, and then then got him some more catches, obviously late, but that, that's on us as well as, as finding a way to um, even with that happen, getting more catches. I mean, we had a screen call, you know, one side or another, um, went to one side and then looked back out of the play, right, and it looks like CD would have uh, had a better opportunity, things like that. Uh, that that falls on my lap, so um, yeah, and, and we'll get better. Game of inches, man. We got to find a way to, you know, come out with the win. How difficult is it now? Because it looks as if you might have to go on the road for the postseason. That don't mean nothing. Regardless, if we rode or home, we got to win, point blank period. And, you know, we didn't come out with the win today. Uh, you know, this ain't this ain't the last y'all going to see us. So, like, ain't nothing to hold our heads about. We went out there and we fought tough. We just ain't come on with the win. If you could put a word on the feeling walking off the field today after this one, what would it be? It's football, man. It's a game of inches. Um, you know, definitely take pride in our work and what we display out there on the field. But 
I mean, we can't control each and every scenario. Um, we have to play against, you know, the opposing team, um, you know, the refs, you know, and, um, you know, a hostile environment. So, I mean, we got everything working against us, man. We just got to uh, come together as a brotherhood and find a way to, to get a win. How tough was that final drive knowing you need to stop and y'all couldn't get it on uh, it was very tough. Uh, I mean, I feel like my brothers uh, definitely believe we was going to get the stop. Uh, we just ain't get it. Not, not to say you weren't always into the game, but on that last offensive, your guys' last offensive possession, you know, I noticed that you weren't even sitting down. You were up on the sideline screaming the whole entire time. It just seemed like you were really into that, that whole moment when they came down there and scored. Just how important was it to try and get a win in this game? Just how disappointed are you that you guys weren't able to? Yeah, man, it was very important. Um, you know, we definitely um, put the work in this week. Um, feel like our game plan was solid. Um, you know, but it's a game of inches, man. It comes down to one or two plays that we could have made on defense, and um, we just ain't handling our business tonight. But uh, overall, I feel like we played tough, and uh, we got something to look forward to. It was a third and two in that last drive. How difficult was it to this – is, this was the ball game right here. You got to stop it. Hey, man. I just urge y'all to go back and look at that last drive. Um, you know, I feel like it could have been called both ways, but uh, obviously they only seen, you know, the ticky-tacky stuff that we did. So, um, man, it's just, man, a game of inches, bro. You got to learn from your mistakes, uh, be able to anticipate in different situations and be able to, you know, float to the ball, run, hit, and let the rest take care of itself. Appreciate y'all. You know, when you get in a situation like that, you practice it so much, right? You trust one another, um, you know. Dak, Dak was doing his thing, and then, you know, trusted me on that throw, and I just wanted to be able to be there and uh, make a play for my team. How can you describe just the swing of emotions from that moment to yeah. like walking off the field? Yeah, I mean, it's football, right? Um, you know, you go out there and uh, you score, and we got so much confidence in our defense, right? And uh, that's the game of football. Um, you know, it happens. Um, it's one of those things that, you know, you look back at a few plays here and there that you wish you could have back. Um, but, uh, you know, you can't do that, so we just got to get back to work. Um, and keep pushing, keep fighting. Just throw down offense between the second and third quarters. I mean, you guys started out fast, and, and there was nothing. And then you finally got it going, you know, the third, fourth quarter. Yeah, yeah I think, uh, you know, some, some some of those things in there, biting ourselves in the foot, whether it be, you know, penalties, whatever the case may be, uh, we, we got to stay ahead of the chains. Uh, you're a good defense. When you don't stay ahead of the chains in this league, it's going to be a, a hard to convert. So, uh, that's what we just got to do um, in those situations. You've won a Super Bowl before. Can you put into words how close this team is to putting it all together in road games like this? Uh, it, it, I, I mean, we got the team, no question. Uh, I, I believe that wholeheartedly. We got every man in this locker room. We got everything that we need. Um, we just got to be able to put it together um, in those crunch time moments. Uh, there's a lot of football left, um, and we just got to keep pushing, get back to work, and reset. Um, and, and just keep fighting, like I said. How do you stomach this frustration and, and move forward and figure it out? Uh, you stomach it by learning from it, right? Um, you look deep in, uh, you look at yourself, you look at what you can do better uh, individually uh, as a group, um, and, and, and you're, not, you're not shy about it. You go to practice, and you go to work, and, and you fix those things. Um, that's how you stomach it, by learning from it. How demoralizing is that no. for the, well, the, the opening drive? Great drive, and yeah. then don't come away with any points. You know, it's a part of it. Um, we got to learn from it. Um, nothing's demoralized. There's a lot of football left from there. Um, you can't think of it like that. Um, we just got to go out there and make more plays. I was, the offense depends on us. I mean, we always talk about complimentary football, and um, we didn't execute at the end of that last drive. So, I mean, kudos to those guys. They played a hell of a game, and they had a good execute. They executed well on that last drive, and um, we just, just got to make a stop for them. Overall, you held the top scoring offense in the league with a bunch of field goals. What do you think about the response after? Um, I mean, we responded, but um, we didn't get the dub. You know, we, we definitely want to get a win. Uh, we want a home field advantage. Um, but like Coach said, man, we, we traveled today, and we didn't execute, you know, good enough to get the win. But I think, you know, uh, it's not a discouraging loss. Uh, we definitely can 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 say that we, we uh, kind of rebounded from last week. Jordan, so. first back-to-back -back losses since 2021. How, how do you guys turn the page that you haven't had to deal with this this year? Um... We, we got the Lions, honestly. Uh, we have to. I mean, we have to turn the page. Uh, we got to go out there and um, execute better. Uh, we get a, a, a one more home opportunity, and uh, hopefully we can get, we can uh, execute a little bit better to get that win.
run defense last week, you have 266 yards this week. You guys did a much better job. What was the mentality and the game plan from a run defense? Uh, just play to our standard. Uh, nobody play hero ball out there. Just get, you know, get the runner down. And um, I think we did that for the most part. We just didn't get a stop when we needed it in fourth quarter. This does this game seem similar at all to the Philly road loss in that, you know, it's a tough loss, but you can take some confidence from how you played in certain ways or not really? I mean, not really. Uh, it's kind of different. Uh, we didn't turn the ball over, so uh, we, we needed a turnover. Um, so we didn't make them fumble. We didn't, you know, we didn't cause any, you know, force and completions really. So uh, it's definitely a different game. It's just, you know, we didn't bend. You know, we didn't break when we needed to but uh, until that fourth quarter, that last drive. So overall, the road struggles three and five now. How do you – find confidence, you know, come playoff time if you guys are on the road? Uh, I mean, we just, I think we're confident. We're a confident team. Uh, we, we definitely rebounded today. We just didn't get the, the um, we didn't execute enough to get the win, but um, this wasn't, this wasn't just a, a discouraging loss. It was just, you know, a game of inches out there today, honestly, so. That makes it just more frustrating, though. You know, when you're that close. Yeah, we got to, we definitely got to finish, uh, and that's, that's definitely uh, number one. Um, we, we, we see that we can stay, stay in them, you know, hopefully in long, along this drive, uh, in this playoff run, we can we can finish up. Cup series, like I've already stated, we're, we're poor. Um, you know, we, we, had, we, had, we had some um, protection issues, you know, we had, we, they, they had linebacker run through too many times. Um, so it's uh, uh, it's uh, part of playing and, you know, we had, we had some change ups in the, you know, in the line and, and, and in the hots and so forth. Or, you know, it's uh, we got to make those plays. You know, it, it, uh, we, uh, the protection part, uh, it, particularly in those pressures uh, that we saw that you know we, we had a couple that we did not. You know, we weren't where we need needed to be. So, when you look at the the last drive that when they're driving down, what's kind of the thought process? Is there any thought process of letting them score and trying to get the ball back to your offense? What just we talked about freeway. Yeah, would be the call there. Yeah, we discussed it. But I, I think you, you got to let the down and distance. You know, uh, it was too far out uh, for every call on the second and third down. We felt, but it, yeah, we discussed it as an option. John, uh, I'm sure the athletic Mike, it felt like the defense kept giving you guys a shot, keeping you guys in the game yeah. uh, offensively. Did you kind of feel that way? How did you? How did you think I, frankly, this this is this is how I view our team, you know, because I th th these are the games that that I you know, personally really enjoy because I know you need to, to think you're ever going to win a championship. You you need these games, uh, especially on the road. You know, to, to go win win games on the road is, uh, you know, great great, great road, road wins are, are things that I that we all remember, you know, throughout the years, and 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 that's why, you know, the the, the urgency um, uh, to come in here, you know. Uh, we put a lot into the game, um, but you know it's uh, it's definitely something we can grow from. But yeah, to me, to keep us in the game, I mean, I, that's to me, it's the definition of complimentary football. You know, I, I thought we battled back and forth. The defense stood up, and you know, we came back, and you know, the field position. I haven't seen the stats, but I, I assume we lost the field position battle. Um, so you know, and the you know the one giveaway was was costly. You know, I think that was a 17 play drive. So um, and like I said, those are probably two plays. You know, those are the difference in these playoff type games. But you knew going into this game that it was going to be like a carryover from Buffalo and the missed tackles and things like that. You oh, no, I didn't think so. No, Buffalo, I mean, hey, I've answered the questions about Buffalo. We, we, we were coached poor, we played poor. It, it, we, it was, a, it was uh, you know, it was, a, it was a good wake up call, you know, but um, we could play better than we did today. And to me, that's exciting. I'm, Yeah, I, I just answered the, the, the protection part. We had, we had some mishaps. I don't know if you were in here, but it just went through it. Um, yeah, I think we missed three or four of them, frankly, today. So we need to be better there. How do you turn the grit and resiliency, all that, into a, a win on the road in these big games when you're in these environments? Well, I think it's like it's football. You know, you got to you got to make. I think we were, we were I think we were minus two big play opportunities in the first half, and and I'm sure. It was probably about even in the second half, and uh, that's what these you know these games. I mean, today's NFL is you can't win without big play production, and um, you know, and that was I, I thought both defenses did a pretty good job keeping these offenses keeping a cap on them for the most part. Alrighty. Can y'all feel that? Can you feel what's about to happen on this field, man? Can you feel what we're about to get into? They almost fucked us. They don't know.
go for that hood, man. That thing is beating your doggone chest right now. Whatever you got today, I got to have it.